Hollywood has had enough of increasingly toxic Harry and Meghan. Ryan Reynolds has made it abundantly clear that he's not fond of Meghan and Harry. A social media user posted a picture of Ryan Reynolds wearing a grow-up Harry t-shirt in front of a stunning portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. Reynolds also made a joke about Harry and Meghan's Netflix series ahead of his December 22nd meeting with King Charles and Queen Camilla. Ahead of the meeting, the media asked Ryan and Rob if they'd be bringing up the controversial documentary to the royals, with the pair deciding to play dumb in response. Rob said, I've never heard of it, with Ryan adding, I haven't seen anything. On speaking about the documentary making waves in the UK, Ryan said, As a Canadian, and I'm sure Rob will speak as an American, we're not steeped in the culture as one would be growing up in the UK. The pair then revealed that they'd taken etiquette lessons before meeting King Charles, with Ryan adding he was impossibly excited to meet the monarch. He said, Rob and I both said early on, and this holds true for the rest of our lives, we'll do anything to uplift this community and this club, and having the king pay a visit is certainly one way to do it, that's for sure. This kind of snarky putback against other celebrities is unusual coming from a huge Marvel actor. Most A-listers stay above such fray, especially knowing how vindictive Harry and Meghan are. Perhaps it's because he's Canadian and he loves the monarchy, but it still felt a little more personal than that. Maybe it's this, maybe it's not, but Ryan signed on for a fun but a small indie project called Dragon's Lair the movie. It's an animated movie based on the video game. It's currently listed as being in production. Here's the kicker. Guess who's the producer? Trevor Engelson. It's still possible the two never talked Harry and Meghan stuff, but Reynolds has been quite outspoken. If Trevor has spilled anything, that means that the two of the top Hollywood A-listers, Ryan is married to the amazing Blake Lively, may have details regarding the dirtiest Soho tea in Santa Barbara. And those two know everyone in Hollywood. The Marvel Universe is a literal who's who in Hollywood, and Ryan and Blake previously starred in DC Comics' The Green Lantern together. DC Comics is your next big who's who network. Ryan is also spending time in the UK after buying Wrexham AFC, which means he may end up coming across even more spilled tea. Prince William is the president of the FA after all. Harry and Meghan Markle are reportedly buzzing at the thought of boosting the Sussex brand, alongside the famous friends in Hollywood. The former working royals were said to have been super excited after being invited to close pal and neighbours Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi's vow renewal. Harry and Meghan stood separately at the star-studded ceremony and appeared in clips cheering on the happy couple. Just being there is thought to have been a big deal for the couple. Now sources claim that the Netflix documentary stars are excited at the endless opportunities that could birth from networking with influential stars in the US. It was a really big deal being invited to Ellen and Portia's special day, an insider claimed. Meghan and Harry were super excited and are now buzzing, the source told Heat magazine, that the pair are exploring their options across the pond and that Meghan doesn't want to miss out on any exciting collaborations. The only question is how far Meghan and Harry would be willing to go. It's about boosting their brand, the insider claimed. Following news, they've hired a Hollywood dealmaker.